Howdy. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. Told you before. It's too dangerous for a bunch of amateurs to handle. Yup. Yup. Now, you looking to buy some supplies? Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the powder gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. Right. Just keep me out of it. Is there anything else? Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. You take care now.
So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. All right. I'll just wait here until you come get me. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Howdy. What's the plan? Are we ready? All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. At least six, Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far.
I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. That ought to keep things settled for a while. Hope it stays that way. Wasteland critters like... I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Be careful. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. And... Pleasure doing business with you.
The Death Claws have been keeping their distance, for now. What's up? What's up? Death Claws have been keeping their distance, for now. Let me ask you a question. What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? Ah, yeah, can you believe some people still eat that stuff? Anyway... I've got this recipe for a Deathclaw omelette that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, I need a Deathclaw egg. Kinda obvious, I suppose. My great-aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back in California, in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she managed to get a hold of a female Deathclaw, but she kept it in a shed. Aunt Rose had a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. At least, she did until some stranger came along and killed the Deathclaw. Shot it right in the eye. The quarry just north of here is full of Deathclaws, so there's bound to be an egg or two in there somewhere. Of course, a Deathclaw egg from anywhere will do. According to my Aunt Rose, those things have a ridiculously long shelf life. I don't have much in the way of money, but I'd be willing to share the secret of the recipe. All right. Do you need anything to eat or drink? Sure. What did you want to know? Well, there's the Death Claws, of course. And there was that one group of powder gangers who stole all the dynamite. I think we're too small and poor for anyone to bother with, really. I keep a weapon near my bunk, though. Same as everybody here. Born and raised. Things back in California are better than they've ever been, according to my grandpa. The raiders are mostly gone now, and it's easy enough to get a job at one of the mills or farms. But now there's taxes and laws and other things. The NCR keeps things safe and orderly, but it's all very boring. So, I came out east, towards the frontier. Oh, I'm not. I'm making my way to New Vegas. They say anything goes there, and best of all, the NCR can't mess it up for you. I'll get there eventually. <clears throat> I've heard that you can't even get into the Strip unless you're rich. All right. Do you need anything to eat or drink? Sure thing. Thanks. Yeah?
Hold up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. I'd noticed Snuffles limping, but I didn't realize the problem was that serious. Thanks. That beast helps keep spirits up around here. They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks, but now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show, and my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. Have you ever seen a death claw? They're taller than a man and far, far stronger and faster. And there's a whole pack of them out there. You'd have to be the meanest, toughest, roughest bastard in the wasteland to have any chance against them, and I don't think that's you. You'd need to take out the pack leaders, the Mother Deathclaw and the Deathclaw Alpha Male. Kill them and the pack will scatter. Pretty tough job. There are a bunch of escaped cons from down south. The NCR was using them to maintain the railways as part of their sentence. I don't know who screwed up, but the powder gangers are loose. It was one group that attacked us and took our entire supply of dynamite. Uh, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. Oh. This is Sloan, a camp for us quarry workers. The actual quarry, Quarry Junction, is up the road north of here. The whole thing is an NCR operation. We make cement for the NCR using the limestone we dig out with dynamite and drag lines. Dirty work, but the pay's good. Wish we got paid in caps, though. Not a lot of merchants like taking NCR paper money. It all gets shipped by rail over towards Boulder City and Hoover Dam. The NCR is probably building fortifications with it all. Nope. The NCR has been trying to switch over to using paper money just like in the pre-war days. Trouble is that the exchange rates ain't exactly fair. For example, a hundred bucks in NCR money is valued at roughly half that in caps around here. Seems like a rotten deal for us, but work is work. It's a big machine which moves rocks around, piles at a time. It's pre-war tech, so you need to thump it once in a while to keep it running. Sure. I've been there once, and I don't recommend it. It's just a way to burn through a month's pay in five minutes. I've seen a lot of folks come through here thinking they'll have the easy life once they get there. It never happens. If you insist on going north, don't be expecting a rescue when you get into trouble. 